ஏசு நாமத்தில் ஜெபிக்கிறேன் ஜீவனுள்ள நல்ல பிதாவே அமேன் thank you so much richard for the prayer uh, so now this is the time for introducing our guest speaker so great pleasure in introducing our guest speaker today mr arul isaac uh, he has completed his graduate engineering in precision engineering college and uh, post graduate engineering in product design and engineering at edit of bangalore uh, from 2006 to 2007 He has worked as a design engineer at EFSC Limited Bangalore and from 2009 to 2014 he was a senior engineer at Indoja Technologies Chennai and from 2014 to till date he was working as a team lead engineer at Contact Consulting Limited UK and there he was working on the projects of uh, Land Rover and Ford. So on behalf of our department I thank Mr. Arul Isaac for accepting to present or share his experience in this webinar. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, Arul, sir, uh, you can start the presentation, sir. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I think I hope everyone is happy to see my presentation. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay. right <clears throat> so now i hope everyone can see my screen here yeah? okay so today's topic is design cad engineer opportunities in automotive industry so that is the topic i am going to give okay so already satish gave a small introduction about myself so currently i am working in uk uh, the company name called contacts consulting limited Uh, through contacts i worked for jaguar land rover and i am currently working for ford as a team lead uh, in the body in white team in the underbody team okay so previously i worked um, as a senior engineer in hinduja tech that is in chennai uh, that is a, a sister concern of ashok leyland so i worked um, hinduja group uh, around 5 years and i worked for ashok leyland uh, projects and uh, other stuffs in the same time i worked for contacts as well okay and my studies details uh, so i studied post graduate <clears throat> as a product engineering in entity of uh, school of post graduate studies for 2 years so from that i grabbed so many knowledge so that knowledge now um, transferred everything into the current field so i am the data which i am going to share now so most of the stuffs uh, the current life in practical life what you are going to do so that's what i am going to share today and i studied my bachelor's degree in uh, pradeshin engineering college vaniyambadi and my schoolings and everything is uh, belongs to Trinelveli St John School and uh, Wooden Goody in Krishnagaram for the plus one and plus two. So these are all the my background and I married. I got two kids. Uh, so currently I am living in UK. Okay. So some of the safety aspects. So please, uh, you should not distract with the uh, topics. So please turn off your mobile phones or you can switch off or you can put it into silent mode. and maybe you can turn off your mics uh, so that any background disturbances you can avoid and during this session if any fire ex fire happen so is generally if that is happen in any closed environment usually uh, i will share the map where the fire exit is there so that but now this is a lockdown period so everyone is sitting at home and uh, we are watching from home so if anything happen so please make sure um, the way how we are going to exit uh, during this time uh, emergency period okay so this is some of the small safety aspects and now everyone knows now we are in the lockdown period and due to this covid 19 so most of the people are working from homes most of the people are jobless and you guys are 
not entering into the college okay due to this coronavirus so some small advice for everyone in this um, webinar please stay safe protect your communities and give respect to others and give some distance okay so when you go to any markets or any uh, social places please uh, maintain some distances so these are all those informations uh, given by world health organization so you have to follow so that we can avoid <clears throat> um, the coronavirus impact uh, and you can stop spreading the um, coronavirus uh, these things and some of the main things what you have to do at your home please wash your hands regularly whenever you go outside and when you come back please wash your hands and if you are getting cough and knees please close your mouth and use tissues and put the tissues in the closed bin as soon as possible and wash your hands with alcohol based uh, uh, sanitizers okay and if you have continuous cough or cold please contact your uh, local doctors and uh, they will get a you will get the proper treatment okay so this these are all some small uh, safety aspect and some uh, concerns which is currently uh, going in the global point of view okay right so now moving to the topic before i'm moving to the topic um, you know i am also comes from the same background like you guys from the mechanical department and i'm talking in english so most of the people uh, maybe get shy to ask some questions uh, at the end of the session so please feel free to ask the questions in tamil so na edhum thappa nanike porathu kedaiyadhu so you can ask the questions in tamil that is not the big issue so na enna face panna engiradha na solren most of the time the people will get good knowledge but enna aguna indha mari or webinar seminar la ayyo tamil la keta nammala edhavadhu nenaipaangalo appdi solli nare per kekkuradhukku thayangikitte nalla questions la vittruvaanga so they can't achieve in a good position in their life okay so now i am giving an opportunity for you guys okay uh, so please uh, follow the slides uh, note down all those questions uh, at the end of sessions you can ask the questions or you can write an email to your corresponding departments and then they will forward that questions to me then i can answer that okay so these are the main um, uh, feedbacks i am expecting from you guys okay right so today's topic is about the design in the automotive industry i am talking about only in the automotive industry not other uh, industries okay um, first of all you should understand the difference between designer and cad engineer okay so so most of the yeah most of the people um mm. thinking about uh, designer and cad engineers both are the same uh, kind of works but that's not the correct uh, now i am going to explain what is designer okay so the, the designer means he must understand what the customer needs and they should know about the market requirements and they should know about this competitors benchmarks so based on these informations what the designer will do he will do the sketches concept designs so who is doing this concept sketches designs that person is called as a designer okay so make sure you don't jump with the cad engineer to design engineer so this is the designer works okay so the designer will understand the exact customer needs and master market requirement and what all those competitors are available in that particular market based on that they will create a new concepts okay using uh, 2d sketches with the three dimensional form so you can see here uh, the core uh, so many sketches with the different views they created okay so this is 2d sketches they made from that they made as a 2d rendering this 2d rendering is purely done by pencil um and some of the sketches and some of the markers so this is a different field this totally different okay so first of all we must understand these things so you can see the next image uh, how many concepts are there uh, what all those themes they provided 
uh, how it looks like in this particular view when it uh, looks from the rear view how the car is looks like so these are all the main uh, sketches they will do during this concept stage so these people are called designers okay and it not only stops with the sketches these people will create a class a surfaces using a specific softwares okay so the class a soft, uh, class a surfaces uh, those details i will explain in the coming slides okay so most of the colleges um, won't teach uh, class a surfaces because that software and other things is huge price so most of the people uh, teach um, basic um, um, uh, 3D softwares like ProE or Catria or SolidWorks. Uh, so, uh, so that that is the reason most of the people's not aware of uh, this particular domain. But this is a, a interesting domain. Uh, once you come to the slides, you will come to know. Then I will show some of the examples and what needs to follow to achieve these skills. Okay. So the second one is talking about the the CAD engineer. The CAD engineer is nothing but who can create a 2D and 3D model in a um, software uh, like ProE or Catia or uh, SolidWorks, so like that. So those people are called as a CAD engineers. So those people must know about the manufacturing knowledge, what type of part you are going to make, whether are you going to create a, a plastic part or are you going to create a, a stamping parts or press parts or are you going to make any press tools. So it depends on what kind of parts are you going to make. So that part manufacturing process, you must know about that, okay? So this is some of the image um, I captured from uh, some slides. So, so this is the one of the CATIA screen, um, how the models done. And this is the assembly of uh, some vehicles. OK, so now you got uh, the difference between designers and CAD engineers. OK, so the designer only sketches and uh, full of um, uh, class A surfaces and a digital sculpture. I will explain what is a, dis a digital sculptures. And CAD engineers, uh, he will do the 3D and 2D model, and uh, he must know about the manufacturing knowledge. Uh, so this is the main basic difference. Next, each car company will follow, definitely will follow these eight stages. Okay. First of all, I want to. Um, make a car, uh, produce a car uh, in India, okay? So first of all, that process will take three to four years, okay? To produce one car into the market, okay? So for example, today, maybe you see, uh, for example, I'm telling maybe Hyundai, um, um, Krita or Hyundai i10 or something, uh, for example, i10 car you're seeing in the road uh, that is uh, launched this year, but, in reality, that car uh, planning and the initial stage uh, may started three or four years before, okay? So during this period, these are all the steps uh, it crossed. Uh, when you see a car, it crossed these many eight stages. Uh, it's not only eight stages, definitely it's crossed five stages. After that, it may cross uh, another three stages. I will explain what is that. So first one is need and opportunity. So first, if they want to launch a car, first they want to know what the market requirement, what the people's requirements. So first they must understand the people's need. Okay. So now the Indian market is full of small cars, small cars, small cars. So everyone is jumping onto the small car. Okay. So first, every car makers must understand the Indian people's uh, mentality and what their specific need are they need two passengers car or they need four passengers car or they need six passengers car okay so how many people are they going to carry or this is a, that that car is going to be a individual use or it is going to be a multi-purpose use like um cab uh, cab use or some other purpose okay so first they must understand these opportunities and second thing is whether that car company can withstand in that country or in that region or in that market for quite a long period so that they will get some profit okay so these are all the backgrounds who will run 
I will explain in the previous next slides. Okay, so this is the first step they will do. Second step is now the designer is coming into picture and he will do some concepts. They will understand and then that concept they will refine and then they will start to do the product design. Okay, when the product design comes the same time they will do the manufacturing process as well. So for example, today you are going to create a, a mouse. You are planning to do a mouse. So if you start to create the mouse in the 3D model, in the same time, you will find a proper supplier who is going to Similar. manufacture. Yep. So sorry for interruption. Yep. Sir, sir. Presentation is going to be all, sir. Share making, sir. One minute. Share all, sir. One minute. Sir, there is, sir. I know the idea pin button. Okay. Can you able to see now? Okay, sir. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. No worries. So now if you want to make a mouse, for example, I'm taking, okay, uh, the mouse, you design the mouse, okay, but you can't uh, manufacture. Maybe some OEMs can manufacture inside, but the small, small parts they will give to outsource the parts. So first you need to find out the supplier. Okay, so what they will do, they will ask the CAD data, can you give me the CAD? Then they will verify the CAD, whether that is easy to manufacture or not, whether are you followed as per the manufacturing or not. So for example, you are planning to create this mouse in the injection molding process with so many parts are there, okay? So this injection in your design or not, who will check? The supplier will check. But before that, that is CAD engineer, responsibility they should follow this manufacturing process okay so this is the third stage so during this stage once the part is done um, they won't manufacture for uh, 100 parts or um, 1000 parts first they what they will do they will go by stage by stage um, first the concept is uh, verified and selected then they will create a 10 parts designs and testing they will do uh, once the testing is uh, done then they will check the government regulations whether it is followed the government regulations then they will do uh, other tests like a side impact test and a airbag deployment test everything they will do so for that they have to send their vehicles to the government body testing body for example in for us in india um uh in Pune, ARA, there are testing centers are there, the government approved uh, testing center. So you have to send your testing vehicles over there, then they will do the test. Once the test is passed, then they will approve your car. Then you can roll out for the next stage. Once the testing is approved, then it will go for the um, uh, parts final judgment uh, for the approval for manufacturing for production. Okay. So once the production comes, that's a big, massive um, stages in production. Uh, they can't manufacture all those parts inside that plant. So what they will do, some particular parts they will manufacture in-house. Every part they will uh, give it to suppliers. The suppliers should uh, give those parts in right time. Okay, otherwise the vehicle assembly line or manufacturing line will stop so that they will get a huge loss uh, in their uh, productions. So during this production process, how you are going to manage the logistics? That is the main thing. So today, for example, if you take Hyundai plant, um, they want to create, uh, manufacture 500 I-10 and I-20 cars, okay? In the same assembly line, okay? So when the 100, um item cars they manufacture so that time they should have all those hundred assembled parts as well uh, if anything one is missed or if anything is quality is not good they have to reject and then they have to replace with the other parts other parts mean the same good quality parts so you should not supply exactly the same amount of hundred okay so you may need to more give more amount of um maybe 105 or 110 something like that they have to supply the supplier so that precautions they have to take and measure okay and during this production process there are so many things involved one is logistics 
another one is the timing frame another one is the welding process another one is the assembly process um, and the painting process so many process will come so i will explain uh, these stages and once the production is done then it will go for the launch that is the deployment stage okay so once that is deployment is done then what they will do they will do some maintenance activities so after that once the car is launched uh, they won't uh they will do some um, uh, maintenance activities in the factories uh, for example once the car is on the road then the people the manufacturers will come to know the exact issues from the uh, customers for example some noise is coming means they have to fine tune some of the parts and then they will replace some of the parts and if something is wrong then they will do the recall uh, options so these are all those things they will do in the maintenance and supporting actions and the stage 7 is upgrade so you might be seeing the item if you see from the item initial release to the current release um there are huge differences will be there so those things and all uh, called as upgrades still the name is same item but um they change the exterior look um and some of the interior design they changed but the real platform they never changed it they kept as it is okay so why i am giving an example for iten is you guys are living in india so that's what you in regular life looking those cars so i am giving that example it is not um intention to give any specific car names uh, in this session okay right so now you got and now you understand what all the stages um the car uh, is going to be car industry is going to be and once the upgrade is done then it will go for the retirement uh, retirement process once that is retirement means there is no more production in that car for example if you take verna car so now it is in the retirement stage so there is no more verna uh, in the market there is no no verna cars like that so some of the examples you can uh see in your real life okay so this is these are all the main eight stages in that eight stages today i'm going to cover the first four stages okay because these first four stages are involving with your design and cad engineers opportunities okay because what you are studying in your four years your you, you you can't directly go and apply into the automotive industry okay but before that you must know what exactly the automotive industry is working based on that you can fine tune your knowledge and then you can take which field you can go right instead of blindly um entering into the automotive industry before that you understand what stages are there what all those fields are there which field i am comfortable then you can choose it okay so first you understand these stages right this is the stage uh, there are four stages it will go through one is research and develop, development another one is growth maturity and decline so the eight stages now compressed into four stages the research and development will take more time okay in usually the research and development is nothing but um in this screen i'll show you the research and development will come up to this first three stages product design and manufacturing processes okay so these stages compiles with the stage 1 and then it is growth and maturity and decline so when you research and development you have to understand the competitors because the competitors also also looking for uh the same amount of market place to capture the customers okay so they will react very quickly uh, to capture the customers so you have to be very proactive and understand the customers so that you will finish your um works in the research and development then your growth and maturity stage you will get a good product okay so these are all the main four stages explain okay now in this eight stages now again as i said earlier now we are going to look up to this production stage okay you can see my mouse movement uh maybe i can use the pointer laser pointer okay so now we are going to see up to the production 
why I not filled this slide? What I'm going to do now, I'm going to explain these four stages. Once I finish these stages, each stage, then I'm going to fill these areas, the question marks, then you can understand whether I am ready to go for that job or not. Okay, so you yourself ask the question. Okay, I'm ready to go for the job or not. Okay, right. First, understand the need and opportunity. So every OEM before uh, starting their plant or uh, starting their product into that particular region. First, what they will know, they, they, they must know is uh, the customer need. What exactly the customer need? The customer need, as, uh, as I said earlier, whether it is a two-seat car or uh, four-seat car or five-seat car or seven-seater car. So then they will uh, understand what exactly the customer is expecting from the car manufacturer. So for example, if you take Innova, Innova is one of the successful product. How many seats there are? Uh, five seats, you can use it, or seven-seater, you can use it, okay? But it is it gives more luxurious uh, when you travel in that car. So that, part, the, that is the reason that car was more successful in Indian market. But before that, no one is launched. But nowadays, everyone has started to launch seven-seater cars to give the same luxurious things, okay? So that means uh, in the previous slides, uh, what I've shown is the competitors. So now the competitors are entering, entering into the seven-seater cars. But previously, Toyota was aware of the Indian market because the population is more so the people want to travel more in a single car okay so how many people travel in a bus or car uh, not as per the rule okay uh, for example the car seats are five seats means no one traveled five five peoples the peoples are more uh, seven six people seven peoples are traveled in a car so they knows the, about the Indian market and then Indian people's mentality uh, how they are going to use so they launch the car so this is what the customer need so the OEM every OEM that is a car manufacturer must know about the customer need second thing is business opportunity so now the business opportunity means if I am going to make a car definitely I should have a plant in that particular region so whether if I introduce a plant in that country or in that region whether i can withstand for next 10 years or 15 years or lifelong whether i can introduce more cars in that region or not they should know about that so here so many politics will come okay so they have to get so many legal actions they have to take they have to follow the government rules and guidelines everything they have to follow because the land acquisition and so many things will come into the picture so this is for need and opportunity and also they will follow uh, SWOT analysis. You might be studied in your um, syllabus during these uh, four years. Uh, I don't know whether this analysis is um, uh, captured uh, in your syllabus or not. I'm not sure. So strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Okay. So these four things, first they will check before entering into the market. First of all, the strength, whether I can sell a unique proposition and whether the competitors will take advantage, whether I have good resource and customers like it or not, and whether I have a, a good assets to have that company. So these are all the strengths they will check. Okay, then weakness, which area the business could improve and the company where it is lacking. Maybe the company is not in India, maybe that is in China, uh, but the company has uh, got more loss, but I want to improve. So uh, if I put the company in India, whether I, how I can improve? Um, what are those competitors best practices in India? So like that, they have to check uh, their weakness and what all those opportunities are available and what all those threats will come when you uh, put the business, what all those threats will come? Are you ready to uh, face those threats? So these are all those main things uh, they will check in the need and opportunity. Right, now this is a step to fill this area, need and opportunity. So now what they are doing is they are doing customer need and data collection and mass market survey and they are doing the SWOT analysis, so many stuffs they are doing. So this is so this is basically management, not a designer role, not a CAD engineer role. Maybe you can you 
maybe the a designer can involve in this so maybe he will go and get some survey from the customers so that is a maybe very less amount of uh, works uh, the designer uh, will do but the most of the works will be done by the management team uh, in any car industry so that is the reason i put a um, letter over here the management role so now my question is are you interested in management role are you going to do these kind of uh, customer need and data collection so is it okay to do the right time now i can say no why the reason is now you studied four years okay so you studied so much of um uh theory point of view but in practical point of view you must know more things so you should have more experience in the market and the field then you will come to this stage so next we will jump on to the concept stage okay what is concept development okay now the previous stage now you understand the uh, customers feedbacks uh, sorry um, market requirement and customer needs you got it now what they will do the marketing team they will come and tell to the concept development team see now i'm going to introduce one car in indian market please get all those informations so what they will do the designer they will go to the real field they will go to the customers they will find the customers they will ask the customers why you need the car why you like this car they will find out the competitors how many cars are there um for example innova innova is one of the successful product who is using the innova so i will go and find out those innova peoples okay and first i will go and find out the um you know what driver uh, are you the owner of the car no okay are you the uh, only a driver of the car if if he says yes means what comfortable you felt in that car okay so those kind of questions they will ask so so many questions they will ask from the customers they will get it from the driver the passengers and uh, from aesthetics point of view for example if some someone is walking in the road then they will ask uh, why you like this innova car okay these for these are the examples i am telling okay so the people's knows their mentality um their feedback then they will collect all those things put it into a, a brainstorming session in a big board they will put all those voice of customers okay then already marketing team already gave one instructions to the designer see the my what the car which is going to manufacture now in Ind in india the new car is only five people only can sit okay and that length is this much that height is this much that product cost should not go 5 lakhs or 8 lakhs or 10 lakhs like that they will define the product okay then what they will do based on this analysis then they will create a qft quality function deployment chart so this quality function deployment chart what you have to do the voice of customers you have to convert into technical aspects and then you have to give the ratings whether really he like it how much he like it you have to give the ratings 1 to 5 okay and whether it is a uh, aspect um uh, only the visualization the perspective point of view or he is uh, from the uh, use uh, useful and reliability point of view everything they will check okay based on that they will start to create the concepts the concepts is not only a single car maybe a 100 cars or maybe a 50 cars or something like that it's huge amount of cars they will do the concepts everything they will do in the uh, sketches three dimensional sketches they will do okay um, in this uh, concept uh, stage um they have to present their concept into the marketing team okay these sketches it's not only a black and white once the black and white is done that is nothing but you can see here this is a black and white yeah once this is done then they will do the rendering works okay the rendering work is um done by uh, sketches some specific markers so uh, using pencils also you can do the Uh, rendering and you can use the pens also you can do the rendering so these are all the concepts they will do and then they will do the rendering once the rendering is done they will do the concept selection okay before that i will just quickly show one video okay uh maybe you can learn more things okay i'll 
can you able to see my screen i hope see how he is um doing a sketch um you guys can see so many stuffs in available in the youtube how to uh, do your car sketches okay so he use simply a pen and a paper that's it okay and he is giving a good three dimensional form and also he is giving a shades that shading will give a rendering works okay so this is a small video so hopefully you can understand what the sketching team will do that is the designer will do okay so once the concept design is done so maybe 50 concepts may be completed in the uh, sketches so that 50 concepts will go to the marketing team and the concept selection team then they will refine into 20 sketches and the 20 sketches again they will refine it and then it will go to 10 um, concepts then the 10 concepts again it will refine into five concepts okay those five concepts what they will do they will create a clay modeling so this clay model uh, they called as a digital sculpture so that is a specific skill you need this is also one of the designer skill the designer is not only do the sketching he can do these kind of uh, digital sculptures works so he can use the clay and he what he designed in the sketch that should come in the three-dimensional form okay so once this clay model maybe one is to ten or something the scale down model they will do that once that is done then they will refine from five concepts to one concept okay that one concept they will do a big one is to one scaled model so think about that how long it will take to uh, create a, this kind of clay model it's it's a massive time right you have to go and get the feedbacks from customers and you have to create all this concept from 100 concept 50 concept 20 concept 10 concepts now this is a only one concept is coming into picture once this is done again the marketing team and everyone will come and see and then they will touch and feel it okay why when you look at the car you get for example if you are walking in the road suddenly a jaguar or ferrari car moves uh, what you are thinking is the first thought is you are planning to go and touch the car why your feeling is coming into that mode uh, because of the look aesthetics okay when you see from the outside it is attracting the people please come and touch and feel it okay so that feel they are giving so in this clay model they have to give the same feel okay once that feel comes then they will finalize okay definitely this can achieve good uh, profit in the market so those kind of things they will think then what they will do you can see some of the dot marks are there in the uh, clay model so what they will do they will do uh, a 3d scanning okay there is a white light scanner is there and a laser scanner is there then they will do the scanning and then from that they will uh, take uh, stl data and then they will start to create class a surfaces the class a surfaces is a big topic but i'm going to touch a small amounts but i'm going to give another direction how you can land this uh, class a surfaces what softwares are available and uh, where you can land these informations okay most of those um, um, colleges won't teach uh, these much of concept uh, selections and uh, clay modelings in your bachelor's degrees most of the postgraduate degrees they will teach these informations okay next what is class a surfacing you might you already studied in your first year or second year or third year semesters um, curvature continuity or tangent continuity you might be studied but you may not understand what exactly the background is working okay in 3d cad model how the background these uh, uh, mathematical is working you might not know but now you should know exactly where it is working okay so 
there are different continuities are there one is g0 g1 g2 and g3 okay so g0 is just a position okay just it is having a contact you can see here okay so this is just only having a contact between one surface to other surface there is no fillet there is nothing it's just a join join between two but this is a sharp edge okay next one is g1 continuity it is having a tangent okay it is having a fillet so this surface to this surface it is having a tangent then g2 it is also having a tangent but it is having a smooth curvature okay and g3 is a curvature curvature continuity okay so these things these informations where you can see um uh, in if you use a kata software or alias or isom surf you 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 may need to come to know uh, uh how to control the cv points uh, that is a control vertex these these points are called control vertex so if you control these points then you will get a proper um, smoothness of your surfaces okay and also the they will use the zebra lines to find out where um, the lines are breaking and where you can give more smoothness and next i'm going to show some of those um, mathematical background where these um, lines and curves uh, from where it is generating it is generating from the nerves so the, the nerves is an accurate and smooth representation of a curve okay so you can see the nerve surface nerve model versus polygon model yeah so how smoothness you can see this zebra lines it is going smooth continuity yeah and it is vanished at the wheel arch here but here you can see it is having a waviness so it is not smooth so how you can achieve a smooth line when you give a smooth line then only the customer will attract us so the customer will get a, a smooth feeling so these informations you will get it from uh, controlling these cv points and the hull okay so these nerves or nothing but it's a it's like a subset of bezier curves so you might be studied definitely you studied this bezier curves so how the u and v directions how you are controlling the control vertex and degrees of a span that will give uh, the smoothness of your surface okay so it is understanding of this is little bit tricky but once you got the concept then you will become a star in this field okay so this is background okay how the a class surface works next one is now we are ending we are coming to the end of the uh, concept stage now if you are going to do as a designer job what skill sets you have you must know how to do a sketch 2d sketch with a three dimensional form what i shown in the video okay so what you can do is maybe most of the guys um uh is a good artist okay maybe he can see a person or see a object and then he can draw a 3d but he may not think uh, in new things he may be copy and do the sketches but he may not think as a new innovative ideas but if you have innovative ideas then definitely you are a designer then you should have a knowledge of the skill sets of how if i see from the rear view of the car where uh, where the sunlight if for example if i see a car from the rear view if there is some sunlight comes where the shading comes where it is having a good uh, shining come so these informations you must know so that is nothing but 2d and 3d rendering imaginations and you must know about uh, 3d glacier surfacing and you should know about um, working with the stl data okay right what are the softwares they used uh, to uh, create those concepts means for example for the 2d sketches photoshop so once your sketches is done then the sketches you can scan it and then you can uh, convert into pdf for image then you can put it into um, photoshop and then you can do the uh, rendering works 2d and rendering works so the rendering works can be done in the 3d um, 
um, the software called Autodesk 3ds Max. So many softwares are there. This is just one of the examples I am giving. Okay, for 3D class A surfacing, uh, the best softwares in the world. There are two softwares. One is I Alias and Isomsurf. Okay, so this Alias is one of the Autodesk product, and Isomsurf is another product, and if you want to once the scanning is done then you have to convert uh, the scan data into a real surface so for that you can use alias and catia as well okay right so these are all the informations you can use it if you are if you want a job in the designer job okay so for that you need these skill sets and also you must know about these um softwares okay so these are all the some of the key elements right and second thing is uh, most of the colleges uh, um don't uh, not have uh, I, I should not say don't um not having that syllabus of uh, new product and development so where you can learn uh, these uh, new core design things uh, so, for example, a National Institute of Design, they called as NID and IDC, uh, School of Design, IIT Bombay. And so many design schools are available. The private organizations are available. In Chennai, you can see there is a IR Design uh, Academy. Um, maybe you guys can approach and you can learn more things, how to design a car, and then you can... Um, uh, get more skills into that. I don't know how many people noticed the Motor Vigden uh, and IR Design joined together and they are doing this work car work kind of, that is a car design five day online course. They already did, I think, May 11th to 15th is already done. Uh, please focus on uh, this Motor Vigden um, uh, 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 article. Uh, art, article so they will publish um, this car design um, every month I think uh, maybe you if you follow you will get more uh, knowledge in the design field how I can design a car and how to uh, approach um, the class A surfacing and other stuff this is one of the good thing and the entity of school of postgraduate studies also teaching um, product designs um, and uh, Ramaya school of studies uh, in Bangalore uh, they also uh, teaching postgraduate studies in the product design uh, this these things so this product design is not only a core they will teach some of the industrial designs also but which I not covered but uh, that one also will um, cover in the syllabus uh, if you are going to study in the postgraduates okay so now you got the uh, idea uh, what is concept development okay so now we am going to fill this concept uh, so now we, this concept development must know about the voice of customers and you must know the skills you must have the skills of 2d sketches 2d rendering clay modeling and 3d scan and class a surfacing so this job is designer job so that's what I put it as a design so next to two topics I am going to cover another one is product design and production so now time is very less but I am going to uh, a bit fast okay anyhow next stage is product design if any car is going to manufacture first, first of all every OEM um, decide uh, a product plan uh, so this is one of the product plan example so first they will kick off and they will do some of the package concept design concepts and they will do some of the prototypes and design release and they will do the modifications and the styling uh, and design they will fix at this stage and it will go for the prototype sorry prototype and detailed design and they will do the test and it will go to the vehicle product line and then finally it will job one that job one means that is all those design is complete now it is ready for the production that is the job one okay right so keep in mind now we decided the design concept stage here yeah now we are moving on to uh, next stage that is validation and modifications here that is nothing but product design so what is product design once the concept is done next what you have to do the concept stage they given only the exterior 
informations nothing will be there inside in inside is totally empty okay only the designer job is only the exterior or whichever the customers uh, can see from the outside which will appeal okay aesthetics look that one only they will do rest of those engineering works this product design people will do so once the design comes then the styling people's what all the surfaces they given to you from isom surface or alias surface data then you have to convert it into a proper manufacturing data so this is what the manufacturing data you have to do and interior surface you have to do and you have to uh, find out the packaging studies ergonomic study you have to do okay and uh, whether the government uh, rules uh, each and every countries they have their own standards so whether this car is um, achievable to meet that standard or not everything you have to check and the crash and simulation and customer demands everything you need to check it here so and also it is having a huge massive amount of departments in this product design if you take any product design first of all it will go to the vehicle architecture what the vehicle architecture this is the first step they will do once they received from the styling information they will check whether the platform is okay or not the platform is nothing but your floor yeah what they will do um, what type of car are they going to manufacture whether this uh, battery operated car so they they called us a bev b battery electric vehicle okay battery operated electric vehicle so in that case your floor will have all this batteries pack okay so if you are going to use a, a engine petrol engine then the engine will sit at the front or rear so that your package will differ so like that all this platform they will de decide and modular strategy and assembly strategy so everything they will decide the second is chassis system the suspensions brakes uh, brake tubes brake lines everything will come under chassis system department then powertrain so whether are they going to use ic engines or pho or bev uh, pho means plug in uh, hybrid electric vehicle whether it is a front wheel drive or rear wheel drive or it is a all wheel drive so everything they have to think about that okay then body in white those this is a structure entire structures they will do so underbody upper structures closures and tailgates and interior trims interior trims is full of plastic parts and electrical all those things uh, they have to do the wirings connections okay so these are the main topics uh, covered in the production product design area this area designer is not going to involve only thing is the cad engineer is going to involve so you must have cad skills and also engineering skills okay so we, i'm going to touch each area slightly i'm going very fast a little bit fast okay i'll explain what is vehicle architecture so they are going to see you can see different different images over here for example this is a front engine so my package for example this is a rear wheel drive so my package is slightly different and this is for the rear engine my package is different but here is a four people's um, car so that package is different so this is what the vehicle architecture team will do the platform strategies okay and also you can see from the top view here yeah this is a front wheel drive and this is for the rear wheel drive okay um so this is a four wheel drive okay so how the platforms uh, is going to change so this is the package studies and everything so this is a vehicle architecture team second thing is second department is the chassis department so that is uh, suspension and brakes so these parts are um die casting parts or machined parts okay so you should have the knowledge of die casting knowledge or machined parts so you have to apply gdnt you have to release a 2d drawing you must know about the 2d uh, drawing um standards uh, each country have their own standards and also the gdnt they have to follow uh, their own standard as well and they have um Uh, ASME standard Y14.5. They have to follow. So these are all the GDNT symbols. So the GDNT is not only a symbols. It is showing. It is giving the interpretation between the CAD engineer, that is you, to the manufacturer who is operating the machine. So the person who is uh, doing the lathe works or CNC machine guy. Once he seen your drawing, he should understand. Okay, you are going to say the here he wants 10 mm hole. with h7 h6 um finishing or um, some positional tolerance if you provided in the drawing 
he must know about all those stuffs and also you have to provide all those datum strategies how they are going to fix the part in the fixture or in the quality inspection table how they are going to measure so all those informations you have to capture in the 2d drawing whether those informations uh, you have to capture from the assembly point of view here how this knuckle joint is going to assemble here okay uh, so everything will come under uh, packaging and assembly strategy so these assembly strategies and all derived from the vehicle architecture okay so this is for the chassis and next one is body in white this is a massive um, department uh, if i am going to take this separate alone definitely it will go for two hours or three hours uh, topic but i'm going to touch uh, very quickly um, in the body in white it is having a um, underbody so you can see this floors this is called underbody the upper structures means these are all the upper structures the exterior parts okay and closures the closures means this hood tailgate and rear door front door so these things and all they called as a closures uh, the tailgate in your this is a separate okay so these stamping parts assembled together and before going to the weld uh, that uh, before going to the paint is called a body in white okay so make sure uh, uh, what is the meaning of the body in white so all these um, uh, stamping parts welded together and uh, assembled and then before going to the paint it is called uh, body in white so you can see these parts looks like a very bright and white um, okay so so body in white, what you must know about these parts. Uh, for example, these parts are uh, mild steel and high strength steel and aluminum aluminum uh, panels. And the manufacturing process is a stamping process. So you must know about the manufacturing process. Now, there are two steps is coming into picture. One is you, are, you can design a part or you can design this tool. So now you got a two option where you are going to capture your job. Are you going to your product designer or are you going to your tool designer? Okay, I'm going to explain product design. You can do anytime, but you should have the knowledge about materials and manufacturing process. But tool design, you can't do it directly. You should know about each and every cycle time and how uh, the material will react when the machine operates uh, each cycle. What operation have to do? You must know about all those things. So for that, that that if you want to uh, st uh, uh, entering into uh, tool design specifically then what you can do you can choose the right way now once you finish your four years degree maybe you can go and study sipet uh, 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 that is a central institute of plastics um, they will teach uh, plastic uh, tool designs and uh, if you take entity of uh, uh, they will give good exposure, practical exposure you will get uh, uh, in your one year course is available and two years course is available. So you can go and study and then you will get more knowledge and then you can enter into this field. Again, here also you have to use a GDNT. You, here also you have to create a 2D drawings. Okay, so here's some of the st stamping process I shown. See how this um, tool is looks like. It's a massive big tool. You are going to manufacture um, a door, left hand side door. This is a right hand side door. So how this tool is looks like? It's a single tool. It is having two panels. Yeah. So everything is done by a CAD designer, CAD engineer. Okay. So you have to make sure which area you are going to work. And also this is involving tool design, process stage design, manufacturing process, and fixture design. Again, this topic is a big topic. If I if I if I'm going to take this separated definitely it will go to two hours or three hours like that okay next we jump on to interior design interior design is having an instrument panel okay so you can see this is an instrument panel and this is a console so the entire things they called as a cockpit okay so it is not only a single part it is having a multiple parts okay and a hvac system so you can see here um when you switch on the ac the uh, the air flow is coming over here right uh, at the center here, these two ducts, and here uh, outboard ducts, and this is a passenger, uh, this is called a passenger duct, and this is called a driver ducts. So, how you are going to supply your air flow in 
to this region so you have to uh, allow uh, the package uh, and the hvac uh, tube uh, to flow in this direction so this involves air flow uh, and cfd analysis so many things is coming into picture so it's not a big thing maybe you are sitting in the car you don't know exactly what is behind here so many parts involving here okay so and also if you look at this glow box a glow box having so many mechanics and mechanisms inside if you open this glow box here there is a, a handle to open this glow box it is opening but once it is open you can't see what mechanism is inside in the door okay but how the mechanism is inside but you can't see is that means the glow box having um, upper and uh, inner uh, one is the outer sorry uh, glow box outer um, and it will have a reinforcement and it will have a inner is these three things are welded together inside with the mechanism okay so once it is welded you can see what mechanism inside so that mechanism is and all you can see here in this exploded view what mechanisms are available so again this one also one of the cad engineer job you can choose okay so this plastic design if you want to design first of all you must know about the manufacturing process what manufacturing process whether the injection molding process okay uh, this is two parts are injection molded so how they are going to weld two uh, injection molds whether it is ultrasonic uh, plastic welding or it is a um, different welding process or what is the blow molding so so many process are there and what type of material are you going to use I, I i simply said here as a plastic but plastics having thousands of uh, plastics are available so which plastics are you going to use um the area where they are going to use you have to choose the right plastics okay so for that you you have to understand the material properties uh, and the material um, grades and everything you must know so these are all those informations uh, you must know when you design a plastic parts so this is one of the injection molding tool so it will have a core and cavity okay so again this is another topic if i am going to talk about plastic injection molding with the core and cavity with the injectors and where the injection point is there that's a different topic so uh, when uh, one of the example i can say uh, when i studied uh, my post graduate in entity of uh, um uh, our principal uh, dr ramani he is one of the best person in my life uh, uh, he always say whenever you see any plastic parts don't go to big parts take any simple parts for example i am you can see this is a sketch pen yeah the sketch pen cap you just take it okay you can you find out where the parting line where is the injection uh, injection point and is there any ejector pin uh, marks available or not so if you started to understand like these kind of small small parts then you can easily realize what is core what is cavity okay then what is parting line okay where you can give uh, graining and where you can give different material finishing in your tool for example this cap the outside is is so shiny but inside is not shine it is it's not that much smooth inside so it is this finishing from where it is coming that is comes from your tool okay so the tool finishing you have to specify it in your tool design okay and in your product design also when they design this product they have to specify it in that gdnt in the 3d annotations they have to specify this is the finishing i am going to give this is the material i am going to use okay so the, again this is a big topic but if you want to shine if you want to grab a job in product uh, design in the plastics then definitely first you understand all those plastic parts then you can enter it okay so this is another big topic so then the last one is the electrical wiring um, you may think uh, all those electrical routings are done by the electric triple department or ec department no this is done by the uh, mechanical guys so uh, this one also uh, this electrical routings also done in catia uh, softwares there is a separate modules will be there uh, wiring harness so 
uh, each um, wiring harness um, will have some bundles and some cables uh, some f uh, fixing connectors you can see here so these things and all you have to design so everything is coming into picture and this is another opportunity where you are going to get the job right so now skill sets now i'm going to complete this product design so this product design if you want to get a job in product design if you want to create a product or if you want to um, um, create a tool design or if you want to create a plastic uh, mold design then you must know about 3d and 2d skills modeling techniques and manufacturing knowledge you must know about this process and definitely you must know about the gdnt standards in asme standard y14.5 or in that particular uh, oem what they are following okay and you can working with the stl data like that and what are the softwares used uh katia solidworks and ugnx and pro e okay and autodesk inventor so these are all the softwares they are using so make sure before leaving this fourth year from your college have you completed any one of these softwares at least any one of the softwares okay you practice more and more and more okay then you will get more knowledge about each and every tools okay no need to most probably everyone uh, have their um, own uh, laptop or pc at home uh, maybe you might be installed uh, the softwares at home maybe you do more practice so because the competition is more in the market uh, today's market uh, so surviving is very difficult uh, so uh, make sure you are very knowledgeable in the tool okay right so now i am going to fill this area so if you want to shine a product designer so definitely this area is capable for cad engineers okay so maybe part design uh, she should know about part design manufacturing process material selection testings gdnt and 3d and 2d so uh, number of topics i didn't cover for example these parts and all once that is manufactured then it will go for the testings okay so you might be seen in the road uh, if you travel to chennai uh, if you uh, in the chennai you might be seen some of the cars um, the exterior is fully covered with a black and white dots okay so that means some of the testing cars the future cars they are doing some testings okay maybe that is a engine test or some platform test uh, different tests will be they will conduct so these are all the tests will be there and so many uh, cae analysis uh, will happen during this product design stage i didn't cover because i am talking about only cad engineering things so that is the reason the analysis and cae point of view i didn't cover the cae will cover um, crash analysis and uh, cfd uh, air flow analysis will come and another one is uh, nvh and durability so these things and all will come so for this uh, specific softwares are available uh, ansys and if you want to do meshing that is a hyper mesh and ls dyna so these are all the softwares they are using but i didn't cover all those stuffs so these are all those things will come under the same uh, product design stage okay um, next one is i'm going to show so now we are going uh, to this stage uh, so now we did all this all my parts are approved now it is going for the production line for the job one okay so how it's production line so production there are four stages in the production process one is the press shop so every oem they can uh, manufacture all those parts inside their plant so a number of parts they will give it to the other suppliers but major parts there uh, for example this big exterior panel and this doors and the hood and the deck lids these kind of, and roof these kind of major parts they will keep it in house they will manufacture everything inside so you can see here so here the um uh, rolled coil is coming over here and it is uh, uh, giving feeding into this station when it comes here you can see here uh, this is a, i think it looks like a roof then it will go to this stage and it will go to the um, uh, next uh, stage operation so, so this is uh, this is in the press shop so when it go for the body shop so they will collect all those body and weight parts and then they will do assemble uh, 
uh, using robots uh, yeah, using uh, spot welding uh, robot guns so you can see here the robots are doing a spot welding so once this underbody is done here then you can see here in this side um, body side outer panel that is a left hand side panel and right hand side panel these two parts are uh, welded together at this stage and this stage and then you can see here this stage they will put a roof over there at the top and they will do some of the final qc checks then it will go to the next stage okay so these are all the body shop so the body shop what they will do they will marry all parts together uh, in the welding process so that now it will come to a good shape okay then third it will go to the paint shop so you can see here this stage uh, so these are all the parts now it comes from the body shop once all those things are welded then it will go to the paint before going to the paint shop it will dip into the corrosion and everything if any dirts or anything will be there then yet everything will be removed because it's it, these parts are came from the supplier and it is um, um, stored quite a long period in the um, um, logistics area so some of the dusts will be there and during the welding process so many dusts may be formed so all those dust they have to remove and then they they will use this uh, corrosion uh, treatment so the entire vehicles will be dipped into that and then it will go for the final checks then it will go for the painting station you can see here these are all the painting stations over here okay once this painting station process is done then it will go for the next stage for the assembly assembly shop so you can see here this is the painting once the painting is done what they are doing they are removing the doors and that those doors they are hanging this area you can see and those doors are going underground okay what they are do, going to do they are going to fix uh, in the side uh, door uh, trim parts you can see once uh, inside inside your door you can see the plastic parts right where the handle and everything will be there so those parts will be fitted in the underground station that is a separate station for the doors so and you can see here those doors are coming up again and then it will go for the assembly again okay so like that every parts will be fitted in the assembly shop including uh, chassis system will be fitted and your tires and your engine and your ip consoles and your electrical wiring that is a massive things everything will be fitted and every all those uh, things will be done in the assembly shop okay so right here what is my job what is the cad engineer job okay so there is robotic action is going to happen in the assembly shop uh, uh, sorry not in the assembly shop in the uh, um, press shop so there you have to do some simulation and validations so for that uh, you have to use some specific softwares that they that is called uh, vboards and ropcad so ropcad is uh, using most of the oems so kuga is one of the uh kuka is one of the robot manufacturer they are using this kind of softwares uh, to do these kind of um, works so they uh, this robots will do pick and place the parts as well and also it will do this uh, robotic uh, spot welds as well and it will do the spray paintings as well so many stuffs it is doing in the production process so here also you have the opportunity to get a job okay so if you are familiar and interesting in the robots and other stuffs maybe you can land but i am not sure where you can get uh, these um, uh, uh, software skills because uh, uh, i didn't know about uh, those informations because once you entered into the oem definitely they will give this informations and yeah every parts now it is assembled and manufactured before going to the customer the parts have to be verified uh, inspe inspection have to be done uh, so what they will do everywhere they nowadays uh, they are using the 3d scanner the the 3d scanner will take a photos and it will send the information to you and then what you have to do you have to verify you that information versus your 3d cad data whether that is right or wrong you have to check okay this it is it is really interesting but the, the production process is uh, it's a very big process so 
that's what uh, now I filled here production process, the robotic program and process layout and cycle time, everything you have to do. And here also in the CAD engineer role is there. OK, so now. You have to think, OK, now you are sitting over here. Now you have to think in these four stages, which stage I am ready to go. I'm ready or not. If I am ready, where? If I am not ready, OK, which area I can focus, whether I can study, um, go and learn a new software or I can go and study any postgraduate studies or I can go and get a job directly because I have good knowledge, good uh, sketching skills. So you have to think about now. OK, now we are coming into the end. Uh, so please think about that and take actions now itself uh, because more competitions are there in the market for the jobs. OK, I think I gave good um, uh, topic uh, for you guys. I hope mm, maybe you can ask if you have any questions, you can ask or you can raise a mail to your concern departments, teams, then they will uh, send to me. Then I will address all the stuffs. Any questions? Tamla kekna na gora kekla unna tapugade yade. Students present over here can ask their queries if any. Sir, so we will forward to Mr. Rahul Isaac. Yeah. We don't see clear, clear particular. So, you are clear. Okay. Uh, sir, so I think we can conclude here. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, I invite uh, Mr. Ebenezer Dish Paul to present his vote of thanks. Minister, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. A, a warm and a graceful afternoon to our most valued guests and my most beloved colleagues, students, and faculties of uh, SCAD group of institution. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose a word of thanks on this technical webinar. I on behalf of uh, Francis Xavier Engineering College and the entire fraternity of the institution, first of all, I extend my most sincere thanks to the Almighty God. On behalf of my college management, I take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to our guest of honor, Mr. Arul Isaac, team lead engineer at Contacts uh, Consulting Limited UK, who spent his valuable time in his busiest schedule to grace this occasion. Thank you very much, sir, for your wonderful and valuable explanation about the design engineer opportunities in automotive industry. With a deep sense of appreciation, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Jay Kumar, General Manager Development, Dr. Well Morgan, Principal, Dr. Joe Patrick Nanaraj, Head of the Department, Mr. Satish Kumar, Mr. Suleiman for making this technical webinar a grand success. I also extend my sincere thanks to my, all my dear colleagues for this enormous cooperation and support. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the student participants and the faculties from the SCAD group of institutions. Hope this webinar should be really helpful for all the future design engineers. Thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So if you have any words to say, sir. I think I shared uh, uh, my email address in the chat screen. OK, so yes. some of the people just asked some questions and other stuff. So 
I think regarding the softwares, what softwares, if you want to learn and other things, first of all, you should understand, are you going to for the design field or CAD engineer field? So for that, what softwares you can learn? I already explained in the slides. Um, for designer means alias is a good software, uh, but it is very tricky. You, It is very hard to learn because you have to use 10 fingers. Okay, you have to use 10 fingers always um, uh, using that software. Um, but that is one of the best classy surface um, software. And if you want to go for the CAD engineer, most of the OEMs are nowadays uh, uh, using Katia. So best thing is uh, uh, practice with the Katia software. So, so you will come to know exactly where you can get the job. Okay. Uh, I think I think. That's it. Most of those things. If anything uh, you need, maybe I I dropped uh, my email. Maybe uh, if any questions um, you got it from other colleges or uh, other colleagues, uh, maybe you can drop me any time. I can answer. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Perfect. Thank you then. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Sir. Thank you sir.